Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with miso glaze skirt steak. That's right, miso want to do a bad pun right now. But I'm not going to. Anyway, I'm going to show you a very simple miso glaze that is fantastic on a grilled steak. And also, I'm hoping this video inspires you to start finding and using skirt steak, one of the best cookout meats ever. So here we go. So we're going to start with a scoop of yellow miso. It's basically a fermented soybean paste, kind of salty, and it's great because it makes everything you use it on more delicious. How? Not sure but it works. And to that, we're gonna add a big splash of vinegar. And oddly enough, we're gonna use red wine vinegar, which may seem a little strange, but it totally works. Then we're gonna throw in some brown sugar for sweetness, a good dose of cayenne. By the way, you people that tune in just to see the cayenne, you're welcome for that close up. I'm also gonna throw in a couple cloves of minced garlic. And then we're gonna take a spoon and we're just gonna mash that and mix that until it's a smooth sauce-like consistency. All right, just like that. All right, we're going to set that aside. The miso glaze is done, and it's on to our skirt steak, which is called a skirt steak because apparently this looks like a skirt. Although, you know what I would have called it? A scarf steak. Because I've tried wearing this as a skirt way too short. It doesn't even come close to covering the tenderloin. So that's what it's going to look like when you unroll it. And by the way, I don't want you trimming any of that white fat off. That is not the tough silver skin kind of fat. That is the delicious keep the meat moist on the grill fat. So don't trim it. Of course, it's way too long to grill, so I'm going to take some scissors and cut this in like four pieces. doesn't really matter the size. It's all the same thickness, basically. And the reason I'm not using a knife here is I don't want to cut through the paper. The nice thing about buying meat at a real butcher is you get that nice wax line butcher paper. I'm going to use that to glaze the meat right onto so I don't have to wash an extra plate. So after we cut that up, we're going to take our miso glaze and we're going to spread that generously on both sides. You don't need to save any to baste the meat later on the grill. This is like a one-time deal. Once it's coated with the glaze, I'm also going to give it some freshly ground black pepper. And you really shouldn't have to add any additional salt here because of the miso, but that's really up to you. Now, this isn't really a marinade. I'm not going to wrap this up and put it in the fridge for a few hours. I'm just going to leave it on the paper like that while I build my fire. So this is going to sit there for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes until we're ready to grill. And that's all you need. Can you use this as a marinade and put it in the fridge overnight? I'm not sure. I've never tried. So feel free to experiment and report back, but this is just intended to be a simple pre-grill glaze. All right, so those have been glazed and peppered on both sides. So I'm just gonna let those sit on my counter while I build my fire. So now fast forward about 35 minutes later, my grill is ready. I'm going over direct, fairly high heat. I always use a charcoal grill, you know that. And of course, like all damp meat on a grill, you need to put it down and not touch it for three or four minutes so that it seals and you get some nice grill marks and you don't tear up your meat. So I just let that sit there, like I said, about three or four minutes until it starts to release. And once I could see that meat was caramelized on and I could move it, I gave it a little half turn, get some extra grill marks. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip mine over. That was about four minutes, I believe. All right, but it's really hard to give times. Of course, the most accurate way is to go by temperature. And I'm gonna recommend you cook these between medium rare and medium. Rare skirt steak is tough skirt steak, I found. And again, you know some meats I like on the rare side, some meats I like a little more well done. This is one where I think the texture is much more pleasurable, a little closer to medium. And there's one great tip for skirt steak. It looks kind of sweaty when it's done. So you see that the meat has like a little bit of a shine to it? That's the moisture inside being forced to the surface. And that happens right when the meat goes from sort of medium rare to medium, and that's when I like to take it off. Okay, so that one piece was done. The other ones were a little thicker. I'm gonna wait another minute. And while I was waiting, I had this brilliant idea. I decided to char some cherry tomatoes over the hot coals to serve alongside my skirt steak. So I threw those on. I just gave them a quick toss while I waited for my other pieces to finish. And you can really see there, see how that meat's getting a shine to it? That is gonna be perfect medium. All right, so I'm gonna pull that off. I don't want the tomatoes to collapse. I'm just trying to char the outside a little bit, give it a little warmth and a little smokiness. All right, so those are good. I'm gonna get those off. And you know I hate to use the fast motion effect, and here's why. It's kind of annoying. All right, so we're gonna head inside. We're gonna let that rest at least, at least five minutes. And my favorite thing about skirt steak is while it rests, it makes its own sauce. Check it out. You're gonna have this amazing natural jus that comes out, and we're gonna use that to spoon over the meat. All right, five minutes later, I'm gonna go ahead and slice this. 
You see it's still pink, but it's not red, it's not raw, it's not rare. And of course you're going to slice against the grain, just like flank steak, just like just about every other meat we slice. And that is ready to taste. And how was it? Incredible. Juicy, flavorful, slightly salty, slightly smoky, slightly sweet. So I'm going to slice that, I'm going to lay it down on a plate, I'm going to spoon over that natural juice, and that is a pretty beautiful plate of food. I went low carb, my grilled tomatoes, some Chinese broccoli. So this really is a great flavorful glaze that produces a very juicy, tender skirt steak. So this piece was like the most cooked of all the pieces. And look at this fork go through it like butter. So cool. So anyway, if you want to raise the hemline on the awesomeness of your next cookout, may I suggest miso glazed skirt steak. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.